Hello and welcome to another Spruce and Bruise unboxing. Today we're having a look at the awesome new Thundian Strongpoint Realmscape box from Games Workshop for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. So first of all, massive thanks to Games Workshop who sent us this a little bit early uh, ahead of release to have a look at. Uh, if you've seen our recent um, Season of War Thundia review, this is the accompanying box that basically gives you a whole kind of battlefield in a box with a load of scenery and the amazing new incarnate as well. While some of the scenery in the box is old, there's a couple of new pieces as well, so really excited to uh, to crack this open and have a look. Um, what I'd normally try and do on these is uh, get them painted up before the video goes out, but as this has arrived on the Tuesday before the release, what I'll probably do is do the unboxing, build up some of the models, and then at the end of the video we'll do a bit of a size comparison, and if I can get one painted up by... Uh, by the time it comes out, we'll put it on the website and say share some images and stuff. But yeah, this looks really cool. It is a big old box. Clocks in at £135, I believe. And yeah, basically gives you a whole kind of playing surface, which will be big enough for Path to Glory games, I believe. I think you'd want to double up the playing surface for a full kind of 2,000 point game. Uh, we'll, we'll check that when we open the boards. And like I say, a load of scenery and the new Incarnate. So at the minute, this is the only place you can get the Incarnate. I do kind of wish it was available separately. It's kind of locked to this box at the minute. But there's some cool scenery pieces. So let's crack this open and have a look what is inside. So if we lift off the lid. And we've got a big box full of plastic. Uh, one thing I will note as a random aside is it is a fairly sturdy box. So you might be able to, depending on how big this stuff is once you've built it, you might be able to store some of the assembled scenery in there. If not, really handy box for keeping miniatures and stuff in. So let's have a look. First of all, let's get the big boy out and have a look at the new Incarnate. So this is the Cronspine Incarnate of Gur, uh, hailing from the Cronspine Mountains in Thondia. Um, if you've seen the linked review, and I'll, I'll link that review into here, you will know that this thing is an absolute beast. It um, basically lets nearby units re-roll run and charge rolls, nothing can fall out of combat within range of it. Uh, if you give it an all-out attack order, all of your friendly units that are within combat, within uh, domination range of it, also get all-out attack. So really cool. Uh, and there's some interesting mechanics on how they get wounded and stuff as well, which is uh, really cool. But we will go about that here, check out the review for that. But this is a really cool mount. So basically, it's basically like a, um, I guess, a dragon made out of realm stone with all kind of ethereally bits swarming around it. So, like I said, at the end of the video, I'll have this built up and we'll see just how big this is compared to some of the Age of Sigma models. So the other new scenery piece in the box, which I really, really like the look of, is this uh, Magma Droth skeleton, I believe it's supposed to be. Really cool piece. Again, I'm hoping all this becomes available separately. Uh, very soon because I want a couple of these because they look cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, really nice piece. Again, we'll build up in a minute and show you what it looks like. Um, we get another brand new scenery piece in here, which is the floating island. So this is across two sprues. The first one's got kind of like the the floating waterfall bit. So similar to what the um, the Lumineth Realm Lords got with their scenery piece with some more kind of like Sigmarite kind of markings and stuff rather than the Lumineth one. Looks really, really nice. Again, um, we'll have a look at the instructions in a little bit. This might be one that you want to leave a little bit um, in sub-assembly to make it a bit easier to paint maybe. But it looks cool. And then there's a second sprue with that with the kind of like structure that it's sat on. Pillars, steps and the like. Yeah, that looks really, really fun. Again, it's hard to kind of judge the scale of these when they're still on the frame, so like I say, at the end we'll, we'll show them compared to some of the models and stuff. And then in the box we've got a couple of things that we've seen before. So we've got the statue. He was in the Age of Sigma starter set. That's a really nice model. Again, they went together pretty quickly, these as well. So good to have another one of those in there. And you also get two sets of the buildings. I think there's two, yeah, there's two different building sprues here. And these basically represent your um, kind of Dawnbringer Crusade structures that they're building as they're out there exploring the realms and checking out what's going on. So yeah, they're really cool. Again, these are the same as the ones that are available separately and in that starter box as well. So you've probably seen these before. 
And again, a quick look at the other sprue for them. So what else have we got in the box? Well, we've got a big old base for the Incarnate. That looks approximately the same size base that Bellacore's got for size comparison. So again, what I'll do at the end, I'll put this against Bellacore because that's probably a good comparison of how big he is. Uh, and then under here, we've got, let's take this card out, the instructions, and we've got the gaming surface. So we'll uh, have a quick look at the instructions and then we'll take the film off this and just have a quick look at what that surface looks like. So jumping through the instructions, obviously this is mostly scenery with one kind of new unit in here. Um, the cleansing aqualith looks like it's got quite a few bits, might be a bit of a, a tricky one to build. I think I'm going to have to keep this in a few different bits to make it a bit easier to paint because there's a lot going on there. Um, I, I really enjoy painting scenery. It's In fact, yeah, so I'm in separate sub-assemblies there. So you can have that as a separate piece and stand it against that one to make it a little bit easier and then it looks like there's chains and stuff connecting them together so that's quite fun i think for ease of painting i'll probably keep these separate like that maybe keep the lid off this as well um we'll see how it goes together but yeah that looks a really nice piece when it's finished it'll look quite impressive on the table equally impressive is the magma droth remains this is really fun as well i um I'm going to have to pick up a couple of these because I think they look really good on like this mat that I've got here. I think uh, a couple of Magma Droth skeletons would look really good on there. Uh, and it looks like the jaw actually moves. You don't glue it in place and it opens and closes. So that's an interesting thing. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got the Incarnate. So that looks like it goes together quite easily. Obviously you've got a lot of swirly bone structure going on. I think ultimately that will go together quite well though, so probably not much needed in the way of sub-assemblies there. Uh, and again we're looking a little bit how big it looks. And then the Guardian Idol, dead easy to put together, I believe this is push fit this one. So no problems at all building that one. And then the same with the uh, the walls as well, I believe they're push fit too. So you don't actually need any glue with those which is fun. So yeah, that's a quick look at that. Let's have a quick look at the boards that come with it. And struggling to actually fit it all in shot, but here's one of the two boards that come with it. So they've both actually got different designs on them as well. So you're gonna have a nice uh, variety to your battlefield. And size wise, um, yeah, the two, basically these are uh, Warcry boards. So two of them together is uh, good for small games of Age of Sigmar. And then combine this with another set of tiles and you've got enough space to play a full 2,000 point game. I believe that these tiles in the same design are actually also up for pre-order at the minute. So you can buy that, get this, and then you've got enough stuff for a full battlefield. Uh, what's also cool is that it is double sided too. So if you want a more kind of like grassier reverse side to it, uh, that would look quite good with the uh, the mausoleum kind of graveyard piece. I think it looked quite good. Obviously, the Thundy inside uh, it's just really suited to the stuff in the box, so yeah, really, really cool. So, what we're going to do now is cut to the future when I've built some of these models. And here's a look at some of the assembled pieces out of the box. Sadly, didn't get time to build it all up uh, in time for the video to go out. However, on the companion article over on sprueandbrews.com, as I build and paint this, I'll add the images of that to the article. But I wanted to get the main bit built just to show off. So we'll have a look at the incarnate in a little bit. I just wanted to call out the Magma Droth skeleton. Such a nice kit. So it's got like an articulated jaw, there's a little ball socket that goes in there. And you can actually have it open or closed, which is pretty cool. Uh, fair size piece. If we get the ever useful Bellacore for scale, yeah, pretty big piece. I quite like that. I, I kind of want a couple of these to stick around this, this map because then they look really nice on it. Uh, but what everyone wants to see is the Kronspine Incarnate. So, here he is. And as you see, he is quite a chunky boy compared to Bellacore. Similar size really, bar the wings, uh, on a really big base as well. So if we move that out of the way. A uh, little bit tricky to build. If we've got all the kind of twirly, kind of magical bits inside it, so that was a little bit fiddly, but really, really nice model. I'm looking forward to painting it up. Uh, I'll probably go with the with the same colour scheme as the box art, because I think it looks really good. Um, for other size comparisons, I've got a Lord of Change just on hand here as well. So, yeah, really big kit. 
Now obviously the only place you can get this in the minute is in this box, which is a little bit of a shame. The stuff in the box is really, really cool, but um, I do hope that we can get him separately at some point, because I assume we'll see other incarnates from other realms as well at some point in the future. So yeah, that was a quick look at the new Thondia box filled with scenery in the new incarnate. As ever, massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending it to us a little bit early to have a look at. And uh, yeah, we're going to be painting this up, building the rest of the box. I'll have some images over on the website as well. And hopefully we'll check this guy out in a few battles as well, because I think he's going to be pretty good. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this, then why not give us a follow? And I uh, hope you guys have a good week and we'll see you soon.